So by starting from the tongs, that's the most sensitive part to drink food, to grab the fruits and drinking water respirations with the help of tongs. So in the tip of the tongs of Asian elephants, in upper layer you can see one finger like projection. African has, uh, Asian has one, African has two in the tips. So another, another different is the tongs, Asian elephant only male has tongs, female does not have. Whereas African both male and female has tongs. So another one is the forehead, Asian forehead is flat with with double doom like a like yam structure whereas African has single doom and their forehead is v-shaped pointed towards so African ear is twice bigger than Asians and also it is actually up to their shoulder height so in the difference between the floating part of upper ear Asians uh, when they are adult their floating part forwarded forward whereas African backward and also the shape of the ear is somehow look like a map of India Asian elephants whereas African, African continent. So these are, and also the shape of the bodies. It look like convex, whereas African concave. Little bit, middle part goes downward. And height, now three feet, uh, uh, three meter issues, African 3.5 meters. And average uh, lifespan is uh, 70 to 75 years, whereas 55 to 60 years Africans. But we have seen some Asian elephants who can survive more than 100 years. So this is applied science. So I will tell you how to find the heights of an elephant. There are also some techniques. So first, I have, we have to measure the circumferences of their front feet. So make it twice circumferences. You will get the height. So this is how the poachers get the height of, uh, of an elephant. So this is the elephant grass. They are going to make a sandwich. So that covers 20% vegetation of the park and we are also allowed to cut the grass for the elephants. So this is the 15 kg rice and 1 kg molasses and 200 gram common salt. That is a sandwich. So in the green vegetable there is no minerals. So we provide her 200 gram salt. But in the wild the smelling power is very high. And so we provide our each elephants each day 90 pieces every day. So they eat a lot, they have a only one stomach and they can digest only 40% what they eat. So if you see the elephant donks, you can see a many fibers. So if they are well digested, we can use them as a fertilizer in the soil. We simply burn it to chase away mosquito and insect in around the stable. Oh, look at this tree. That's amazing. Whoa, nearly took my hand off. You should see the molars, man. Yeah. Enjoying that shanty, eh? Is it worth waiting on? Come on. They've all sort of got their characteristics. Basically, look very alike until you really study them. The markings they have on their breast, some have little brown spots above their legs, one has one centrally in our chest. They'll play about in the garden but they're very alert if a strange pine martin comes in and sometimes there's a, I, I presume it's the, the patriarch of the clan comes in and the female ones are extremely nervous. They do stand up like a meerkat, exactly like a meerkat, they stand up on the back legs and when they're watching. If I put their food out, obviously they just come and eat the food in the garden and that. And they really love raisins, especially if you mix it with the peanuts. I hang the odd sandwich off the bracket. You can actually see them sort of thinking, how am I going to get this? But they do. They're bold creatures. And if they know you're not going to bother them, they can become quite tame.
when he first comes out, the badger um, will sniff around, trying to catch the scent of any predators, and also listen, but he won't be looking because he can't see very well. Badger's eyesight are very poor. Um, their sense of smell is about 800 times stronger than ours, so they catch anything, any whiff. But when he's quite confident that there is nothing around that's going to endanger him, and that really means man or dogs, then he'll come out. They try and base where they go on what, is go what food is going to be available to them. Now, their favourite food, 50% of their diet, is earthworms. See the size of its nose? Big fat nose, rubbery. It, when it's actually digging in the ground, it, the nose will fall back so, so it can get its teeth into things. The Asian one-horned rhino can be found in the marshlands and grasslands in Royal Chitwan National Park in Nepal. Efforts to save this beautiful creature have resulted in a growing population and it is estimated that there are now around 500 rhino in the park. Here we find a dozen rhino cooling off in a jungle waterhole. Many of the rhino are female with young, with the presence of a few menacing males. This male, for instance, has encroached on another male's territory and finds himself very unwelcome. With its deeply folded skin, studded rivet-like tubercles on its shoulders, flanks and rear, the rhinoceros appears armour-plated, which even sparked off myths that it was bulletproof. Its massive build and its peculiar height, its short stumpy legs, its huge head and horn, which is actually matted hair on top of its snout, gives the impression of a truly prehistoric beast which is not far from the truth as a rhinoceros has changed little in its last million years. 